Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Saturday. It is December 18th, and we are uh, in, the, um, in the third week of Advent. And so, friends, let's begin our morning prayer with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massah, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is close at hand. Come, let us worship him. O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel, that mourns in lonely exile here, until the Son of God appear. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. O come, O come, thou Lord of might, who to thy tribes on Sinai's height in ancient times did give the law, in cloud and majesty and awe. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Our God will come from Lebanon. He shall be as brilliant as the sun. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Save us by the power of your hand, Father, for our enemies have ignored your words. May the fire of your word consume our sins, and its brightness illumine our hearts. God will come from Lebanon. He shall be as brilliant as the sun. May the Holy One from heaven come down like gentle rain. May the earth burst into blossom and bear the tender Savior. God of my fathers, Lord of mercy, you who have made all things by your word and in your wisdom have established man to rule the creatures produced by you to govern the world in holiness and justice, and to render judgment in integrity of heart. 
Give me wisdom, the attendant at your throne, and reject me not from among your children. For I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, a man weak and short-lived, and lacking in comprehension of judgment and of laws. Indeed, though one be perfect among the sons of men, if wisdom who comes from you be not with him, he shall be held in no esteem. Now with you is wisdom who knows your works and was present when you made the world, who understands what is pleasing in your eyes and what is conformable with your commands. Send her forth from your holy heavens and from your glorious throne dispatch her, that she may be with me and work with me, that I may know what is your pleasure. For she knows and understands all things, and will guide me discreetly in my affairs, and safeguard me by her glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the Holy One come from heaven, excuse me, may the Holy One from heaven come down like gentle rain. May the earth burst into blossom and bear the tender Savior. Israel, prepare yourself to meet the Lord, for he is coming. O oh, praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Strong is his love for us. He is faithful forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. God, our Father, may all nations and peoples praise you. May Jesus, who is called faithful and true, and who lives with you eternally, possess our hearts forever. Israel, prepare yourself to meet your Lord, for he is coming. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It is now the hour for you to wake from sleep, for our salvation is closer than when we first accepted the faith. The night is far spent, the day draws near. Let us cast off deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Let everything within you watch and wait. For the Lord our God draws near. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins." In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Let everything within you watch and wait, for the Lord our God draws near. To the Lord Jesus Christ, judge of the living and the dead, let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to save sinners. Protect us in times of temptation. Come, Lord Jesus. 
you will come in glory to be our judge. Show in us your power to save. Come, Lord Jesus. Help us to keep the precepts of your law with the strength of the Spirit, and to look forward in love to your coming. Come, Lord Jesus. You are praised throughout the ages. In your mercy, help us live devoutly and temperately in this life as we await in joyful hope for the revelation of your glory. Come, Lord Jesus. Gathering these prayers, calling to mind the prayers and intentions of our own hearts, remembering to all of those people who have asked for our prayers, remembering each of those people that we've promised to pray for. We lift up our voices using those sacred words that Jesus himself gave to us, and together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. All-powerful God, renew us by the coming feast of your Son, and free us from our slavery to sin. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me this morning for morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. How good it is for us to um, pray this prayer of the church, to pray with the church, to pray for the church, but to pray on behalf of the church for all of her members. Friends, uh, we are just a week away from Christmas. Now is the time for us to just embrace this time of preparation, readying ourselves, readying our hearts to receive Christ anew at Christmas. So friends, whether you are out and about today, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today, remember to be healthy today, remember to be holy today, to live out our baptismal call to holiness. May God be praised in you, may God be praised through you. And friends, I do hope that you have a beautiful day today.